This is a brief introduction into developing an apps for tablets on Android. Um, right now I am just going to show you a, a little tutorial on why it's a little different for developing an app for a tablet versus developing an app for a phone. Right now this is the same app running on both uh, devices. Um, right here this is a device running ice cream sandwich and this one is a device running honeycomb. Um, I picked Honeycomb because that's only available on tablets, so it's kind of obvious. Uh, like, there's only one layout for this. Um, you have a lot more real estate available on a tablet, so doing things like putting a list view over here and then a web view, which isn't activated because I haven't clicked on anything over here, uh, allows you to utilize a lot more of the real estate of the screen. Um, on previous versions of Android, this wasn't possible because you can only run one activity at a time. Um, it currently is now possible with a uh, uh, compatibility pack that uh, Google has released. So you can actually do items like this in um, older versions of Android, but it was first introduced on Honeycomb. Um, the reason why it couldn't be done before is because you can't run two activities at once. This is a list view which runs a list activity and this is a web view which runs its own activity. The way that it works on Honeycomb and Newer is, and now with the compatibility pack, is you split up the activities into fragments. So now this is a list fragment and this is a web view which is its own fragment. And it's running in a giant activity which allows you to do both. Now on a phone, you can get away with not having to do this. But an ice cream sandwich it handles the fragments anyway exactly the same way. So, um, like if you were to click on an item, it now launches its own viewer. On here, if I click on that same item, which on here I clicked on Zovrak, so that's a Cyclovir, I'm going to pull up this and I see my own web view. See now, this is a lot nicer on the tablet, which I theoretically could, on the phone, make it zoomed out a lot more, but it's a lot easier to view this on the tablet without having to zoom out or anything like that. It's, it's pretty much in a very nice uh, format that I actually really like. So for me, this app was, when I developed it over a year ago, was perfect to do on um, in a tablet, um, for a tablet rather than doing it for a phone, even though it still works on the phone. Um, before you didn't, need, if you wanted to make a list view right here that launched a new activity, that wasn't an issue. You could always do that as far back as Android goes. But um, with this, you can utilize a lot more of the real estate, develop one app, and now it's compatible on multiple devices, which is very nice. So this is the exact same app. I've done nothing to the actual program or application to run differently and if I really want this to run like a phone I can really just put this in a uh, portrait mode uh, on an emulator you can go into portrait mode by hitting control F11 and that pulls up the exact same uh, look as this so if I wanted to I can just click this and it launches a new fragment now the way this runs differently is that you do need another activity in order to do things in portrait mode because you're, you need something to handle the transition between launching the new activity so you do have a, uh, a second activity when you do when you take an account of handling things in portrait and landscape mode so that is something you're gonna have to take into account when you're developing uh, an app for a tablet uh, even though you can develop everything in a, in a landscape mode and keep it that way and keep one activity. You can also uh, make it compatible with multiple, multiple devices by adding a second activity to handle this transition into a separate um, viewer. Now, the way that th these works, it's just an intent. Um, intents allow you to launch uh, different things, like you can put this in a text view if you wanted to which is actually the most basic example that you see for handling fragments is you see a list on the left and a 
text view on the right. Uh, I decided to show my own application that I developed, which I, I haven't published, I don't know why. But um, this is uh, my, my app that I, I keep pretty much for myself, because I'm probably the only person in the world who would use it. Um, so you go back and you get back to your own little list view and web view. Now I'll go into future videos on how to set this up. This is just a, a, a info, like a, a little one-on-one -on -one course uh, uh, on how to, why this is actually necessary on uh, newer operating systems. Okay, and that's it for now.